We're road testing the M Audio Fast Track USB interface. Before you start, make sure you download the latest drivers because Windows can install a generic driver that can cause noise. When recording a voiceover for video, we need to keep our mouth close to the microphone. Ideally, we want to be no more than 2 to 3 centimeters away from the microphone. This will help add bass to our voice by the proximity effect. We also need to raise our voice slightly. The Fast Track has an adjustable mic gain. First we need to set the gain so that it's not too low that you can hardly hear the voiceover and that it's not too high that it starts clipping and distorting. Check 1, 2, 1, 2. Gain set very low. Check 1, 2. Check 1, 2. Gain coming up. Check 1, 2. 1, 1, 2. 1, 2. Okay, gain too high. Check one two check check one one two check check one two. The first microphone that we'll use with the fast track device will be the Behringer C1 microphone. It's a condenser microphone that requires phantom power that the fast track can supply. Check one two one two one two check one two. This is the Behringer C1 check. One, two, this is the Behringer C1. Check, one, two, one, two, this is a Sennheiser E835. Check, one, two, one, two, this is probably my favorite vocal mic for live performances. Check, one, two, one, two, this is a Sennheiser E835. Check, one, two, check, one, two, this is a Shure SM58, a little bit on the old side. Check. One, two, check, one, two. This is a Shure SM58. Check, one, two, one, two. This is a Shure SM57. A little bit old. This is normally used in an instrument mine. Check, one, two, check, one, two. This is a Shure SM57. Check, one, two, check, one, two. This is a cheap PV mic. Check, one, two, one, two. This is a Wharfdale DM2. Check one two. Check one two. This is another cheap microphone. This is a Wharfdale DM2. Check one two one two. That brings us to the end of the test of the M Audio Fast Track. Next, we want to have a look at the M Audio Producer, a microphone that has its own built-in USB interface. Check one two. Check one two. This is the M Audio Producer USB microphone. Check one two one two. Next, we want to have a look at Audacity, the free software package for recording audio. Sometime, the only microphone available to you may be a webcam. We want to test the microphone from a Logitech webcam. Check one. Okay, check one two one two. Just decreasing the gain. Check one two one two. Check. Check one two. This is the Logitech webcam. Check one two. Last of all, we want to test a headset microphone plugged directly into the sound card. Check one two. Okay, we can't increase the gain here. Okay, check one, two, one, two, increased gain levels. Check one, two. Check one, two, one, two. Check one two one two. Check this is the LTEC Lansing PC headphones and microphone. Check one two. Check. Now we're going to look at cleaning the audio inside Premiere. If you listen to this clip, you'll hear a lot of unwanted noise. Here's the link. Here's the link. We're going to use the noise gate from the dynamics effect. Apply the effect to your audio track. Then go to the Effects Controls tab and twirl down the custom setup. Turn the compressor off 
and turn the auto gate on. Now listen to the sample again. Here's the link. Here's the link. Here's the link. You can alter the threshold at which the auto gate engages. Here's the link. Here's the link. Try some different thresholds and establish the right setting for your audio. Here's the link. Here's the link. You can also use the noise gate on other recordings. Here is a tutorial where I remove the unwanted noise and keep only the natural sounds that you'd expect. And that brings us to the end of this lesson.